folks, it's January 30th, Monday night. Um, kind of early. I may, I'm making my video this time before midnight, so that's always a positive thing. And um, I've had a long day today. It's just been very eventful, and uh, today was my clinical day. Um, to start off the week, you know, folks, Monday I start off the week. Um, 6 a.m. at the um, Riverside Regional Medical C County Hospital, and um, so that's um, that's a fun. It's really fun, you know, going there. You learn a lot. Today we did still a bit more orientation about the hospital. Learned about working for um, just learning more skills and um, developing more um. um Things that we're doing and trying to learn for um, for our success as nurses, and um, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I I'm always tired. It seems like it's like the thing is is this: if you're a nursing student and you come up, walk up to another nursing student, and then you say, "Hey, how you doing?" The thing is, we don't we don't say, "Oh man, I'm tired," because that's like. If you're a nursing student, you're tired. You're tired. So, like, we talk about, oh, <laughs> how you doing? Oh, well, you know, I'm slowly coming along in that homework and those drug cards and those, um, you know, workbooks and those papers and those research, you know? We can't talk about our tiredness, but I'm really tired. I think I, I'm starting to get a little bit of bags under my eyes, um, more defined ones at least. Um getting headaches more just from being up and everything. So anyways, today, oh, today in our class, we um, in our skills lab, we're testing and uh, practicing on each other. Um, practicing, that was my cell phone going off. Practicing um, on our, um, practicing on our, um, on each other. For um, IVs and today, folks, you don't even want to know. You don't even want to know how freaked out I was to have a nurse, student nurse, sticking me in my arm right here with an IV and starting IV in my arm. I was, I almost, I literally almost passed out. I literally had to. They had to like say, Jenny, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And I was traumatized because I've gone to the hospital before and I've been in a car accident and just, you know, been to the hospital before where they've had to start IVs on me. And um, every time my, um, my, uh, my, um, I, I freak out. I, I, I have good veins, great veins where people can easily um, find the veins and stick me and, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have pretty good veins in my arms, and I don't know if you can see it. But um, the problem is I hate that stick. I hate movement. I hate everything about it, and that just freaks me out. Um, so um, so that's what that is. And um, the thing is is that the girl, she was excellent. She did her job very well. She stuck me. She did pretty well. She started it and everything. But I was like freaking out and really hot. And, and um, I was like, oh no, oh my God, oh my God. And then the professor was like, breathe, breathe, breathe. It's okay. And I was like, I know it's okay. I know it's okay. But I just, I can't stand the pain of being stuck. And she was like, oh my God. She was like, oh. And she was like, I, um, so I was like happy to have it over with and people were videotaping me while I was sitting there getting stuck. And so I was like, um, ah, don't videotape me, don't videotape me, I'm looking ridiculous right now, I'm looking like, ah. So I, so she was my partner, so her and I, we work together, we were like a buddy system, we have to do buddy systems, you know, so she was, she stuck, she did, she started IV on me and then I started IV on her. Um, and that went pretty well, that went pretty well. I just had a little bit, um, um, I did pretty well, pretty much. 
when, when I started my IV, I was pretty, I took it slowly, did it well, you know, wanted to make sure I, I did, you know, didn't make any mistakes, stick her, oh wait, no, no, she didn't have good veins to see, good testing veins, the professor had another young man that was in our, our cohort come, and then I found, um, um, Turkey, I went, oh yeah, I found the veins in his arms and then started an IV and then did that and that went very well and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, am I hurting, am I hurting, I always feel like I'm hurting somebody because when I get stuck, that's all I can think about, it hurts, I don't care what anybody else says about it, it's not hurting, let me tell you this, it hurts and I'm here to say right now that getting an IV, getting stuck, it is painful. It's a painful procedure. It's a painful, painful thing. And, uh, you know, I'm just saying. So, anywho, that happened today, and then there was a bunch of, we were learning a bunch of different things about the, uh, what are we learning about? Hold on. Let me get my, I wanted to read this, but we, what we learned in, oh, class today. We learned about the uh, PCEA. We learned about um, chest tubes. We learned a lot of stuff. Look at all these quizzes. This is some quizzes and notes that we did. Um, we learned about um, applying and changing an ostomy pouch and the different types of colostomy locations. And um, we had to describe and know the different stool consistencies for each. So that was really good, learning that, and you know, and a lot, a lot of it, you know, it's it's similar names for all of these things, and they're very similar, like um, different, you know, concepts. But what makes it um, so it's a lot of study and on top of everything else that we have to do. Oh, and look, I got my new book. I got my new book right here. Maxi learned the drug card book, and I've got well, I've got to fill this whole Celtic that is. I've got to fill all the stuff with drug cards and learn them all for um a pharmacology. So I finally got my book in, and the professor has delayed it because there was a our bookstore on campus wasn't selling um the books, so our professor had to had to delay that assignment for um. For us, so, but yeah. So, anyways, I've just been feeling really tired and just not really wanting to study and and um, just feeling out of it and just um, just going and going and running all over the place and doing homework and doing studying and going to class and, and meeting with people and talking to professors and just a lot happening and um, you know, I can't wait for it to slow down a little bit because there's so much right now happening and it's still trying to figure out, you know, what we're doing and, you know, things like that. So, so that's what, so that's what happened. And, um, um, people are texting me like mad and I'm sitting here drinking water, still trying to stay hydrated so that way I don't get as chronic headaches or turn into migraines. So tonight I had a good dinner. I had, what did I have tonight? It was really delish. Shiss. Oh my God, like I had a salad that had like salsa with corn in it and then it had like an avocado like dressing or a um, leaf, a, a bed of lettuce. And it was so good. It was like ridiculous. I went and got two helpings of that. And then I also had um, a couple slices of uh, pepperoni pizza um, and beef stroganoff and with some fresh cooked um, cauliflower, broccoli, and zucchini and squash. That was delicious. And then for dessert, I had raspberry um, shortbread cookies, and that was I don't mind. And so delicious and good. So, anyways, well, that's my my recap of today. 
And Sunday I was really tired and did a lot of um, did a lot of homework and oh my battery's about ready to die again. And just you know doing the best that I can do and uh, that's all I can do you know and that's encouraging to know that I am doing what I can and making trying to make the most of my time and dedicating myself fully to my studies. And so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and tomorrow's another clinical day at the uh, Veterans Hospital. So I'm gonna be wearing my uniform again and going there and talking to the veterans. Mama Linda, baby. So anyways, I love you all. I'm gonna get some rest tonight because I don't have to be at class or clinicals till one, but I have to finish my paper. So I'll still be waking up early and doing that. So anyways, I'm ready, folks. I shall talk to y'all later. Love you. Good night. And God bless America. <laughs>